What's going on, Halo fans? Luke the Notable here. What I wanted to do in this video is mathematically prove the best rec weapon in Warzone. That is to definitively and mathematically prove to you that there is one weapon in Warzone that is better than all of the other ones. What we're going to be basing my claim off is the rec's actual value. So while certain recs are good at certain things, what is the best rec in the game that will get you the most kills the easiest for the least amount of rec points? What I want everyone to do before watching the rest of this video is pause the video right now it's okay I'll wait just just pause it what I want you to do is comment down below what weapon you think is the most valuable and best rec weapon in Warzone you don't have to tell me why but it would be interesting if you did and I would love to hear what you guys think before I show you all of my formulas let me give you a hint though it's not Nornfang so don't say Nornfang I feel like a lot of people think Nornfang when they think best weapon in the game but it's it's totally not I wanted to create a standardized weapon rating system that I could apply to any weapon in the game and figure out a number that would correlate to how good that weapon is on the battlefield. Keep in mind that this weapon rating system only compares weapons on their ability to kill Spartans, so it doesn't take into account how good they are against bosses or vehicles or anything like that. And also keep in mind that we are looking at a weapon's value, meaning how many kills can you get out of this weapon and how much are those kills going to cost you rec-wise. We all know that a basic spanker rocket launcher and a blaze of glory if pitted against each other in a 1v1 fight most most of the time the spanker rocket launcher would win but with a basic spanker rocket launcher you're only going to get four shots or about four total kills if you use that thing perfectly while the blaze of glory has 15 shells that can each kill a spartan the rating system i created for weapons scores weapons on four categories the first category is time to kill slash ease of kill so how fast does this weapon actually kill a spartan and how easy is it for that kill to actually take place so the regular rocket launcher that i was talking about earlier would score high in this category because not only does a rocket launcher kill very quickly but it's pretty easy to use the second category is range and this category just means how far away can the enemy player be for you to easily kill them so while technically a rocket launcher has a pretty long range if someone's far far away from you you're probably not going to kill that player the third criteria is multi kills or how easy it would be for you to dispatch enemies that were coming up to you in a group it's one thing to have a weapon that's good at killing just one Spartan but if multiple Spartans attack you how easy is it for you to walk away alive and then the last criteria in this rating system is survival. Does this weapon give you any sort of advantage to survival, meaning increasing your shields, making you invisible, or a speed boost? Of course, if a weapon increases your shields or gives you invisibility, then it has better value because it allows you to stay alive longer. What's the point of wrecking something that is incredibly powerful if you just get sniped from a mile away? Each of these values is given a number from 1 to 25%, and then they are all added together. That number is then multiplied with the number of kills that you could get if you use that weapon perfectly. Then, that new number that you just got is divided by your weapon's rec level. This number is a weapon's value rating, and this is what I compared to other weapons in the game. Now let's use this system to calculate the value rating for Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium is a rocket launcher that allows you to shoot multiple rockets at a single time. Ad Victorium is a rec level 5, and it has 6 rockets, which means that you can get 6 total kills if you used it perfectly. For time to kill slash ease of kill, I gave it a perfect 25% because it's a rocket launcher and very easy to use. For range, I gave it 15% because while it does have a little bit longer range than most rocket launchers, it's not like a sniper rifle. For multi-kills, I gave it 12% or half of the total points that I could get because yes, while if multiple people come up to you, you can dispatch them, but you only get two rockets before you have to reload. And for survival, it doesn't do anything to increase your shields or anything like that, so it got a zero. That brings its total kill factor out to 52%, making its true kill factor 3.12 and its value rating 0.625. If you're confused, all of this information can be found in a spreadsheet that I have created for all of the weapons in the game. You can find a link to that in the video description below so you can look up any weapon. Also, you can of course take this spreadsheet and move all the values around if you don't agree with the values that I associated with each individual rec and get new value ratings which apply directly to you. Most people think Ad Victorium is a pretty good rec by most standards. However, using my calculations and its value factor, it's actually 70th out of all 
85 recs in the game. It's a pretty powerful rec, yeah, but if you think about it, you're paying 5 rec points for only 6 shots. That means at its best, you're only gonna get 6 kills unless people are pretty close to each other. Now let's look at a surprisingly high rec. Ranked 14 out of 85 on my value rating spreadsheet, the Barbed Lance actually is pretty dang good. The Barbed Lance is a level 4 rec that has 21 total kills if you use it perfectly. It scores a 10% on time to kill and ease of kill because actually getting 21 perfect kills with a barb lance would mean you would have to perfect everybody, which is just not gonna happen. But still, using this weapon to get kills is pretty dang easy. It scored 20% on range because the light rifle doesn't have the range of a sniper for a perfect, but it does have pretty good range. It scored 8% on multi kills because while it is possible to get multi kills with this thing if multiple people were coming at you at one time, because it does have an increased rate of fire, it's probably probably not going to happen too much. And it scored 0% in survivability because it really doesn't do anything to help you survive longer. After all my calculations though, the Barbed Lance, even with these low stats, has a value factor of 1.99. This would indicate that it has almost four times the value of an Ad Victorium. I know, I know, I know, I know what you guys really want. What you really want is for me to tell you what the best most valuable rec weapon is, so you can wreck it all the time. And the best, most valuable rec weapon in the game is George's Chain Gun. For starters, George's Chain Gun has a massive ammo capacity. If you were to perfectly kill everyone with this thing, you could get 25 kills out of it easy. Especially considering the fact that bullets explode with the George's Chain Gun, which makes multi-kills insanely easy. And for a chain gun, it actually has pretty good range. You can get people from pretty far away with this thing. And of course, one of the best parts about the George's Chain Gun is it gives you upgraded shields and a damage boost, which just makes you so much harder to kill. I didn't give it a perfect score for survival though because it does inhibit your speed a little bit. On my value factor scale, the George's Chain Gun got a rating of 3.2 which just crushes most of the weapons in the game. To put it in perspective, the Nornfang, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys love with all of your heart, only got a value rating of 1.71 which is respectable for sure but about half as valuable as the George's Chain Gun. So next time you wreck that George's Chain Gun, you can take pride in knowing that not only are you killing tons of enemies but you're saving a lot of wrecks in the process. Some people might say this ranking system for weapons doesn't hold much weight. I'm comparing apples to oranges, I'm comparing sniper rifles to rocket launchers. However, if you're going to rank weapons, which we all do, we all have our favorite weapons, I think this is the best, most accurate way to rank them. I spent a lot of time on this and I hope you find it as interesting and useful as I do. I plan on making a ton of videos using this chart and comparing different things and kind of showing how to use the most valuable wrecks in the game to kind of give you a good understanding of how these wrecks work and how you can up your game by using them. So make sure to subscribe for that because I'm definitely going to do a lot of tips videos for you Warzone guys out there. If you want to see the entire list, please go down to the link in the description. You can click a link down there that will bring you to this spreadsheet so you can see exactly where your favorite guns in the game rank. I want to thank you all for watching. Please stay notable and I'll see you in the next video.